cold early spring day as highs they were well below average a good 15 to 25 degrees below that mark and as we take a look at our current radar a few flurries out there, but most of this will be pushing off to the west or to the east. Sorry, throughout the overnight clear skies will arrive and temperatures will really drop off as we are expected to fall well below zero, anywhere between five to 10 degrees below zero. And there will be a slight wind out there. So wind chills could be maybe as far down as 15 to 20 degrees below zero. So make sure you do dress warmly as you're heading out this evening. 12 degrees, mostly cloudy skies. Northwest winds are at 16 miles per hour, so still pretty breezy out there. Real field temperatures are currently below zero. We'll take a look at the full map a little bit later on in the segment. 12 here in Marquette. It just doesn't get warmer as you go off towards the west at 11 in Ontonagon. 12 also in Houghton. 16 from Crystal Falls down to Menominee. And as we take a look at our eastern zones, we are at 18 here into Escanaba. 12 into Ishpeming and 12 also as you make your way into Manistee. Very cold air all across the region. And the winds, they are gusty as well. 15 miles per hour in Iron Mountain sitting at 14 in Escanaba. So expect winds to be anywhere between 10 to 15 miles per hour as we hit, end off the evening. But once the sun goes down, they will begin to subside just a little bit and we'll see the winds. They will start to become anywhere between five, maybe 10 miles per hour instead of the very gusty winds that we have seen today. And as we go ahead and take a look at temperatures across the rest of the state, 20 degrees down to Traverse City, 19 to Escanaba, seeing more of those 30s as you go farther south and east in the state as that colder Arctic air hasn't quite made it down there yet. but. Still, that is pretty chilly for this time of the year anyway, and we are only going to see this over the next 24 hours before things really start to warm up for us and wind chills. They won't be quite as bad throughout the day tomorrow either as we are currently at one below in Marquette, five below in Ironwood and sitting at the goose egg in Iron Mountain. Weather headlines. One more frigid night before temperatures. They will begin to rebound and we'll see that in our seven day forecast. Sunny Wednesday as skies will be mostly sunny as we start off the day. Heading throughout the afternoon, that's when we'll start to watch out for our next disturbance coming in. And that's not only going to bring us a chance of snow, some accumulating snow at that. We'll see that they'll have a chance of rain as well and freezing rain. And all of this is going to come together and I'll continue to keep you updated on just where exactly that track of the storm will be. But here comes the snow and rain as we go into Thursday. And then once that does start to push off to the east, no Arctic air or no Arctic air is going to be expected to come in right behind that as we'll stay on the mild side for a change. This Arctic air though, it is here for the time being very cold air making its way in from the northwest. And as we take a look at tomorrow, things should be mostly sunny with high pressure and control. And as we take a look at future cast, we'll take looking how most of the clouds they do push out of here. Mostly sunny skies as we start off the day on Wednesday, but clouds do begin to build starting to see more of the snow showers as that next disturbance does come in. It will start off as snow tomorrow night and we could pick up a good quick one to two inches before seeing even more snow by Thursday and that will be included with the rain snow shower mix as well as this does start to push off to the northeast. But for tonight, seven degrees below zero freezing cold temperatures. Southwest winds at five miles per hour. Tomorrow still seeing that southwesterly flow, so temperatures they will rebound and greatly they will rebound. 28 degrees in Crystal Falls, 31 in Ontonagon, sitting more of the middle 20s back into Launce and 25 in Escanaba for our seven day forecast. More of the upper 30s by Thursday, and that is why we are expecting that rain snow mix. I'll have you an updated snow accumulation graphic by tomorrow, 20s by Friday, and then we'll start to see temperatures rebound yet again closer to Sunday as we'll be back in the 40s and even for Monday.